Do you know that China is still the world's second largest market for semiconductor equipment, behind Taiwan and ahead of South Korea and the United States? The tale of China's semiconductor revolution can be traced back to the U.S. imposed restrictions on ZT. This was a critical juncture that underlined China's pressing requirement to compensate for the deficiencies in operating systems and semiconductor technologies in the year 2019. Jump ahead four years, and the Chinese technological landscape has undergone a radical transformation. The nation has achieved remarkable success in extricating itself from the influence and regulation of Europe and America in diverse aspects of chip technology. Hello, and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. Please subscribe, like, and comment to boost our videos. Now, let's begin. China's mastery in semiconductor instruction set architectures epitomized by innovations like the Long Sun and RISC-V architectures commands applause and acclaim. This has positioned China's chip performance on an equal footing with industry behemoths like Intel and Anand. Furthermore, the development of the chip environment anchored on the RISC-V architecture is progressing at an exhilarating pace. Although the superficial complexity of chip engineering might seem extraordinary, it's the intricate interplay between software and hardware that forms the backbone of chip fabrication. Unlike software, which requires only product design, the synchronization between software and hardware is pivotal particularly within industrial software domains. Electronic Design Automation Electronic Design Automation, EDA, software, although seemingly straightforward, is indeed multifaceted. The vast universe of chip creation encompasses five core segments. Analog design, digital design, wafer fabrication, packaging, and system amalgamation. Distinct EDA software supports each of these segments. As it stands, only three mammoth corporations, Synopsys, Cadence, and Siemens, possess the capability to devise and market the full EDA software cycle. The U.S. restrictions on Huawei, however, disrupted this flow, resulting in a standstill on their chip innovation. Nevertheless, Huawei has pioneered EDA software for 14 nanometer processes and above, reflecting their methodical and diligent strategy. However, as the technology pushes toward the 2 nanometer frontier, the disparity between 14 and 2 nanometers looms large, and Huawei's EDA software alone falls short. This reveals a gap in China's chip industry, primarily in EDA software. To bridge this void, it is essential for China to channel investment into EDA software's research and evolution. Government intervention through increased policy support and funding, along with incentivizing private firms to invest in EDA software read, is crucial. Achieving autonomy and governable growth is vital to minimize reliance on foreign innovation. Despite existing hurdles, China's swift ascent from domestic creations to breakthroughs in Huawei's EDA software underscores the nation's potential to dominate essential chip technologies in the foreseeable future achieve industrial self-reliance, and escape the clutches of foreign technological oligarchies. This voyage marks a remarkable emblem of China's technological advancement and industrial elevation. Recently, China's Ida Titan Juada has announced that its tools are ready to support five nanometer processes and all digital instruments back seven nanometer processes. This heralds the creation of more sophisticated domestic Ida software. Despite the growing independence from Huawei, the dependence on European and American giants for singular module, EDA software persists. Juada's escalated investment in end-to-end -end -end software it promises to elevate it to global preeminence soon. Foreign commentators have expressed astonishment at China's unanticipated rapid advancement, a progression that even escaped the notice of the Biden administration. Intriguingly, China had already laid the foundation for EDA software in the closing years of the 20th century with the groundbreaking Panda system in 1993. The suppression by Western forces and the free distribution of Western EDA tools effectively diminished the Panda system's edge. Had it not been for this maneuver, China might have achieved global leadership far sooner. Bearing the lessons of history in mind, China vows never to repeat its past shortcomings. Regardless of Western decisions to revoke sanctions or not, 
China is determined to persist in cultivating domestic EDA software, urging EDA companies to augment their RID investments, hasten the developmental pace, consistently refine software functionality, and attain product enhancements. Simultaneously, policy and financial support must be escalated to lure expertise into the EDA sector and nurture superior specialists. Steps must be adopted to hinder foreign EDA products from monopolizing the home market, thereby fostering a nurturing atmosphere for domestic EDA software. China's plentiful human resources and immense market furnish essential cornerstones for the development of EDA software. The nation's self-assurance, independent ingenuity, acceleration of the localization procedure, self-reliance in EDA software, and mastery over the industrial chain are fundamental to China's aspirations to become a technological superpower. While the contest with the West is undoubtedly formidable, China's relentless endeavors will undoubtedly culminate in success. Conversely, continuous export constraints by the United States have impelled Chinese firms to hasten their shift from American semiconductor products and gravitate toward domestic machinery and chips. For instance, Huawei has wholly immersed itself in the semiconductor sphere and allied with local firms to realize the localization of EDA tools for 14 nanometer processes and above, which have been comprehensively authenticated. In the current year alone, Huawei has localized over 13,000 components and 4,000 circuit boards, shrinking the American component's share in 5G apparatus to a mere 1%. Chinese enterprises are vigorously diminishing their dependency on imported chips, with a substantial yearly reduction of 97 billion chips in 2022 and an estimated reduction of 30 billion chips in the first four months of this year alone. Additionally, Huawei has even turned down a $100 million consignment permit for automotive chips and is progressively resorting to in-house automotive chips. The fundamental solution lies in Chinese firms accelerating the growth of proprietary chips and adopting the risk-free architecture. Seasoned analysts assert that Chinese enterprises are well positioned to command the future of risk. VIT chips. China's chip fabrication technology continues to forge ahead rapidly, with 14 nanometer chips in full-fledged production and setting a global benchmark in yield rates. Seven nanometer chips have concluded their rod phase and are in the experimental production phase using Nuon technology yielding promising outcomes. China's technological leaps are manifest, with 75 of the nation's semiconductor international orders stemming from domestic corporations. Meanwhile, American chip giants are witnessing a downturn, with companies like Micron and Intel incurring losses over $2 billion in a single quarter, and am experiencing a $139 million loss within the same period. Even though Qualcomm and NVIDIA have avoided losses, their net profits have plummeted considerably. This scenario has compelled American chip giants to slash capital expenses, plan workforce reductions, and hint at potential future decay. The American Semiconductor Association concedes that this will inflict a grave blow to the American chip industry. In an unexpected twist, American constraints on shipping and technological barricades have inadvertently hastened China's growth of independent innovative capabilities. China relentlessly augments its investment in research and development and acts effective policies to endorse domestic substitution and boosts the investigation and commercialization of crucial technologies. Today, China's domestication initiative is gathering steam, with independent and governable skills continually refining. The horizon for chip technology in China is luminous. The nation's unyielding quest for independent creativity, coupled with its accelerated domestication procedure and expanding command over the industrial chain, is thrusting China towards sweeping triumph. What do you think? How will this reshape our future? Leave your thoughts and questions below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay connected, stay curious, and join us on this journey through innovation. Until next time, innovative checkers, keep exploring.